I'm Haley at Air Lanes. I'm gonna go inside today and get my first ball and we're gonna talk about what I need to do. So we're here with Girls Gone Bowling. Most of us throw with a house ball, but I think it's time to upgrade. So we're gonna go into Gary's Pro Shop and find out what it takes to get your own custom ball. All right, we're going to Gary's Pro Shop, but to find him, you gotta look for Halo and you gotta look for Jurassic Park, but he's right through here. So let's go meet him. Where is he? Where is he? Hi there. Hi. I hear you're Gary. I'm Kay I am. I'm Kaylee. Kaylee, nice to meet you. Um, I need a ball, but okay. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. So okay. I'm gonna need your help. You don't have a ball of your own? No. Okay, you use a house ball, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, all right. Do you throw the ball straight or you try to hook the ball? Um, mm, I don't know what hook means. Okay. I think I'm throwing straight. <clears throat> okay, so hook a hook ball means that you throw the ball and the ball curves to the left. Oh, like okay. the fancy throwing? Yeah. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> Okay, so you actually throw a straight ball. Okay, do uh, you plan on throwing a hook at some point? Or would you like to learn to throw a hook at some point? I mean, if you could teach me, I'm not sure. That's what we do. I okay. mean, we can teach you to throw a hook ball if you want. You know, that's not a problem. Okay. The reason I'm asking is, if you're just gonna throw a ball straight, probably the best ball for you is just a plastic ball. Okay, they're the cheapest ones. Still, on the other hand, even if you do throw the ball straight, a low end reactive ball is kind of better because it does actually give you better pin action because it grips mm -hmm. the lane a little bit better. But it would also be a ball that you can actually learn to hook the ball at some point if you decided to. Okay, that okay. sounds great. I mean, that sounds like it gives me options. Okay, okay, sure. Okay. okay. What weight are you throwing right now? Oh, um, about a 10. 10? Barely, but okay. yeah. I would like to see you throw at least a 12, I think. Okay. I think I saw you throw some ball a last Thursday night or something. Mm -hmm. So I think the way you do it, I think you could handle the extra weight. Besides that, if you get a, you want to throw a ball as heavy as you can handle. Sure. Okay. The heavier weight balls do knock pins down better, of course. And actually they're easier for you to throw because a lot of people try and actually physically throw the ball. And that's not what we're supposed to oh, do. That's not okay. Right. We're supposed to just let the ball come off our hand and roll it. Oh. Okay. All right. We talked about the tropical surge. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a low end reactive ball. Okay. Okay. We do have, and I see you've been looking at some of them, we do have higher end balls. Well, right. Because okay. I like those are yeah. pretty colors up there, okay. but I don't know why, why not these versus these. Well, for one thing, you, you're beginning at this, right? Okay. So, there's no use for you to spend two hundred and thirty dollars for a ball when this ball will do you just as much good right now. Sure. Okay. Yep. If you get to the point where you learn to hook the ball and you're happy with it and mm -hmm. you want more, then we can always go up to something a little bit more expensive that actually has a little more hook potential in it. Okay. Okay. And the cover stocks are just what actually makes the ball hook. This is outside of the ball. It's what makes the ball hook. Okay. Okay. And that here makes again, sense. we have this is a solid cover stock ball, so. Normally they hook more and, and sooner. The pearls normally go a little bit longer and hook a little more on the back end. Mm -hmm. But here again, that's something we can get into later if you decide you want to upgrade, upgrade you know, to a, a little more stronger ball. Once I figure out what I'm doing a little bit yeah, more. Right, sure. right, right. Okay. Okay. So the next thing is, do you have a color preference? I mean, purple. I mean, that's usually what I'm going for is okay. colors. Well, so. all right. We have, we have a 12 pound tropical surge right here that is purple. Perfect. Smell it. Got a smell to it? Yeah, it does have a little bit. They do have storms. Storms balls do have a little bit of smell to them. So that's it's a long fun. story how that come about. But anyway, <laughs> so all right. So um, purple is your color. Yeah. Uh, that's a twelve pound, which I think is what we should probably try for you right now. Sure. And I think that will work for you. Okay. okay so we get you measured up. Sounds great. All righty. Okay. So <clears throat> the next question is, do we want to do a conventional grip for you, or do we do I want to do a fingertip? I don't okay. know what that means. Okay. Conventional grip is what most people throw, and that's the same thing that fits you out here in the house balls or conventional okay. grip. They go yeah. into the second joint. Oh, okay. okay. A fingertip just goes to the first joints right here. Uh huh. That, if you're going to learn to hook the ball, that would be preferable. You okay. know, if you're thinking about just throwing the ball straight for now, mm -hmm. you know, we can always change it to a fingertip later if, if you decide you want to learn to hook the ball. Oh, okay. So. I mean, that, that choice is up to you. If you think you're happy with throwing a ball straight now, 
maybe down the road you might want to change it, then we can do that. So okay, I think probably just do just the conventional. conventional right now? Okay, because, that's, yeah. yep, that sounds good. Okay. All right. Okay, let me your hand. Okay. Uh, thumb first. I'm going to measure you with that one, but I think I want to go a little bit smaller because that one's just a little bit on the loose side. Mm -hmm. I can make this one bigger. It's easier to make it bigger than smaller, so 25, 30 seconds. Okay, fingers. Middle, middle finger. That's pretty good, 23. Okay, ring finger. Nope. Now I do have oh, a question. Need. Yes. Am I supposed to use these two fingers? Yes, you use the middle two fingers. Oh. You don't do that. No. You use these two a bit, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people do. <gasps> That's a good, no. I never knew. Okay, the thing about it is the reason we use the middle two fingers because yeah. the middle two fingers is going to allow the ball to set in this part of your hand so that the ball is more comfortable and not as, right. I'll, I'll say wobbly, but that's not the right term, but sure. at least your hand don't want to go this way so much. Right. If you put it on these fingers, okay, a lot of the way the ball is going to be over here, so your hand's oh. going to want to go this way. Oh, Gary, you're blowing my mind. Okay. okay. <laughs> really, uh, <laughs> easy there. He'll put something in there about that. I, I know. <laughs> okay, we got to go in between here, I think. I think we can do that. I can make that one a little bigger. Huh. You know, I watched you bully and I never noticed you were using those two fingers. That wasn't very observant of me, was it? Well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Put your thumb in there, please. Okay. Lay your hand right on that line, okay? On what? Yep, this line right here. Yep. Oh, okay. That's good, right there. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to reach for the holes, just lay the hand there. Okay. Relax it. Uh, see, step up a little bit closer so you're more. There you go. You're more relaxed there. Yeah. Okay. You have a double jointed thumb, don't you? I do. Mm hmm. Now we're going to get to the thumb thing, okay? Okay. Your hand. Relax your thumb, please. Oh, man, that's awesome. Great flexibility on that. We're going to go <laughs> Put that on my resume. Great, <coughs> great thumb flexibility. Okay. You want to grab that bottle with your whole hand like that and turn it up so I can look at your hand? Okay. Eh, you're kind of halfway in between. I'm going to have you do this then. Grab it. Lay four fingers on that pencil and then pick it up with your thumb. Okay. okay. Four fingers. Mm -hmm. And pick it up with your thumb. Okay. Zero, zero. That's good. Hi, kids. How are we doing? Very good. Be right with you. Okay. We're ready to drill this. So, um, okay. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, what I call, I'm going to lay the ball out for you. Okay? okay. So, I've got your span measurements, which are right over here on his elbow. And we're going to draw. I'm going to drill this a little bit off center for you so the ball still might move a little bit for you okay to give you an idea of what you know the ball is going to react like possibly if you do decide to go to fingertip uh-huh okay and how long do these usually take you Does, is this like a couple of minutes or uh it's going to take me probably 10 15 minutes to drill the holes for you oh that's not too bad and then it's just ready to go after that then yes it is huh. yep Make sure everything fits your hand like I want it to. Sure. And then, uh, then we'll go out and get a lane and we'll have you throw it a little bit. All
All right, let's see how this thing fits. Okay. Hopefully I didn't screw it too bad. No, I thought you did great. <laughs> You're like a well-oiled machine back there. This is exciting. Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, now. Okay. That's one thing I don't want you to do. I don't want you to grip the ball. Oh, okay. okay. Want you to keep your thumb and hand nice and loose. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to open the thumb up a little bit though. That's a little snug. Too much of a chubby thumb. No, it's not. It's not that. It's and everybody's, you know, thumb is different. Your hands seem to be a little on the dry side, so we can probably keep it a little bit tighter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you use a lot of hand lotion or anything? I mean, I try to, but it, I just it it's absorbs. Gone immediately. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. And here again, a lot of women use a lot of hand lotion. Yeah. So sometimes you have to make the thumb hole really tight because that lotion makes your hand either slippery yep. or some people it makes it tacky. So yep. it's it's a feel as you go thing. Mm -hmm. Swing the ball and just get up here. Yeah. Okay. How's that feel? Good. It's secure. Like Good. it's not okay. going to fly okay. off. Now, what I want you to do is swing the ball again. Uh -huh. I want you to kind of relax your thumb a little bit right up here. I'll, I'll grab it. Okay. And see how the thumb's going to come out. Okay. Okay. Right. Swing the ball. Okay. Come right in. Let's do it again. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So you walk. Let's go get a link. Okay. All right. Cool. You